You're welcome. My name is Ray with the Ray's Engines. So on this one, what I'm going to be talking about is the down and proven numbers for big blocks, uh, 468 and a big block 496, which is a stroker motor. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I do these videos so you can learn from these and so you can build these combinations. If you're looking to build a big block, that's what these combinations are for. Now I'm going to do LS uh, combinations. That way you'll get some LS uh, builds as well. So 468 basically is a 4 with your 4 board 60 over. It's the same size crank, which is 4, 4 inch uh, rods or 6135. Uh, 496 is a big block board 60 over with a 4 and a quarter crank and 638 5 rods. So that's how you get your strokes uh, for the 496. So let's go ahead and get started. Depending on what you're going to do, this is uh, a muscle car, a truck, a, a street rod, uh, whatever it is. Um, you can try to decide which one is better for you. Uh, so look at the RPMs. The higher the RPM, the less treatable it is uh, because you're trying to reach that RPM from on a street, it's gonna be from light to light, which is not very far. Uh, if you're looking for a quarter mile one, then it's gonna be uh, the solid roller one. So here, we, let's go ahead and get started. Here's your 468, four with the four board 60 over. This one's gonna make horsepower at 5,500 RPMs maxed out. Torque will be 4,500 RPMs maxed out. This one's 10 to 1 compression. You can use pump gas. This is a comp camp, 244 and 244 at 50 duration. 556, 556, which is a very low lift for a big block. Uh, Overport head, 781s. Similar heads like that are 781s. Um, 219, 188 valves. Victor Junior intake and 850 carburetor. And this one makes 504 horsepower. And 511 torque. I mean, this is a good daily driver street motor that you can drive every single day, fire it up, and not worry about adjusting valves or anything like that. I know the horsepower numbers are kind of low, and the reason they're kind of low is because of the lift of this cam. If you go just a slightly, if you go to the next one, this one's a 292 cam. So if you go with, I believe it's a 305 comp cam. It's a little bit bigger, so it'll give you a little bit more horsepower. Um, and then we'll go to the next one. This one again is 468, 60 over. This one maxes out at 6,500 RPMs and 5,500 RPMs at torque. Uh, this one's 12 to 1 compression. You're going to have to run racing fuel on this one. Uh, even E85 fuel is good. You can get that at the pumps. Uh, this one's a comp cam roller, so you're going to have to adjust valves. 244 and 244 at 50 duration. 631, 631 lift. As you can see, it is similar duration, except the lift is huge, plus it's a roller cam, so it's actually gonna make a 631 lift. Unlike this one, it doesn't make that lift. Rectangular heads, huge heads, 219, 188 valves, Super Victor and 950 HP. This one makes 620 horsepower. And the torque is 550. So as you can see, this one makes over 100 horsepower more, but of course this one is strictly a race motor. You're going to have to run racing fuel all the time, which is $10 to $12 a gallon, depending on where you're at. Or you can run E85 gas, which I believe it's less than $3 a gallon, uh, and it, it is, and some pumps it's 105 to 110 octane. Uh, so this one's basically all out, uh, maybe a weekend street rod hot rod, whichever one you want to run, but it's not a daily driver. Okay, here we go with the 496. 6 to 1 RPMs, 4,600 RPMs for the torque. 10 and a quarter compression. You can run pump gas on this one. It's a rotor cam, 266 and 272 duration at 50, so it's a lot larger than this one. 678, 688 lift. This one has rectangular port heads, rod X heads, 230, 188 valves. This one has Super Victor intake and a 1050 HP car. So this one is, is quite a bit, but it makes 700 horsepower and it makes 644 torque. Uh, you can probably get a little bit more if you got your compression up to 11 to one. Even if you got your compression up to 11 to one, you can still run pump gas. Reason why, because it's such a large cam. 
It'll bleed off some of that cylinder pressure, so you're able to run 11 to 1, 11 to 5 max of compression. Uh, and here, this one, this one is still will be more of a, I would probably put 12 to 1, 13 to 1, and you'll be over 800 horsepower on this one. Once you run 13 to 1, you'll be 800, 850 horsepower easily on this one. Uh, but of course, if you're a, a, a race engine, strictly race engine because of the compression, but you already have a race cam in it, so you might as well go higher on the compression. This one, 6600 RPM, horsepower and 6000 RPM torque. 10 to 4 compression, you can run pump gas. It's got a Lunati hydraulic roller, 255, 265 at 50, 629, 629 lift. It is smaller than this one, but it is a hydraulic roller cam, and you can run pump gas. This would be a great street strip daily driver in Big block rectangular heads. This one's AFR 315 CNC heads, 225, 188 valves, Super Victor, and a 950 HP. As you can see, these heads are CNC. These heads are not CNC. So if you would switch these out, you can make a lot more horsepower as well. Reason why this one makes the same horsepower as this one is because of the heads. And then the torque is 615. So as you can see, just a head difference if you change that out if you put these over here this engine will make more horsepower so this one basically needs more heads uh, cnc heads but of course these cost a lot more so here's your combination this one will be great for daily driver street strip muscle car i mean it'll be fun to drive uh, compared to but of course Depending on your budget, it all depends on your budget. Big blocks are expensive to build. Heads alone, uh, Brodick's heads are a little bit over $2,000. AFR is about 3,500 to 4,000 just because they are CNC heads. So you'll see this one is more expensive than this one here. But as I said, if you want to switch this head and put it on this one, you're going to make a lot more horsepower. If you make this compression, 13 to one compression, you'll be about 850, almost 900 horsepower on that one. So here's your proven combinations. Decide which one you want to run. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. And we'll see you on the next one because I'm going to do an LLS one as well. And if you haven't seen the small block Chevy, it's on there on my YouTube video. So if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.